What is up guys, it's Andrew or Rick Hackus, I'm bringing you some TAR21, or MTAR21 I should say, gameplay today. This uh, video is a slightly doctored, just I take away the parts I'm just running around trying to find guys, just so it's more entertaining for you guys and it takes less time for me to upload. Mostly the second factor is what influences that decision the most, not gonna lie. This is my absolute first life uh, with this gun. Um, last round I had I'd actually got the EOD bot kill. Um, we were attackers and we had two tickets left. Uh, we ended up losing, of course, because because Colonel level 100s, because they're just freaking beast. Doesn't matter how good your squad is, your rest of your team is always Down syndrome. Anyways, we had just two tickets left and I just barely got it in time, so I was really excited when I got it. I was freaking out. But yeah, finally got this uh, tar, and I'm bringing you some gameplay. Uh, you'll see my end score at the at the very end of the game. I'm not gonna spoil it for you now. But this gun, uh, the first factor that makes uh, a good gun choice is how cool the gun looks. And this gun looks extremely cool. I'm not going to lie. I think it looks really awesome. Now, the very second uh, choice is how good the iron sights are. And this gun's iron sights are pretty shitty. Um, it's definitely nowhere near the Famous, but it's you're not going to really get any precision out of them. They are good for like close quarters because you have so many per uh, so much peripheral that you don't even have to be like looking at the you could just like bring up the stick basically and put it on target. Long range though, you're going to need a sight. Fortunately, the red dot sight is unlocked after only 10 kills. The good thing about this gun though is that as you can see with that guy, you don't even need to aim down the sights. You can just uh, spray and pray. I really enjoy the complementary uh, styles of the two guns I've added uh, for close quarters for engineer, the ACR and the TAR are both uh, fast shooting, but the ACR does less damage and is way more accurate and has a little bit shallower clip, whereas the TAR has a normal clip and normal damage and still that and a little bit higher fire rate. So the TAR is basically like a close quarters, you know, in your face spray and pray kind of gun, and the ACR is a complete opposite. It's like a marksman's gun, and I really enjoyed those complementary style styles that they've added with the two guns. Um, they've totally dropped the ball on that for assault. They've basically added the G3 and the Scar L, which uh, sorry, the Aug A3 and then the Scar L, which is a shitty Aug A3, which is basically, in my opinion, um. Hold on, just some boss gameplay here, like holding this disarm thing with like one finger and then somehow turning around and killing that noob. Anyway, um, I'm also going to talk to you about the, this isn't a full gun review, I haven't used this gun well enough to do a review. First impressions though, I do like this gun, it's very fun to use. It's definitely kind of like, you know, if you're going to run Engineer and Operation Metro, you should be using something like the TAR. It's extremely good close quarters and it can handle itself um, medium range as well. And just, I want to just point your opinion uh, before I continue with this uh, uh, topic of, of stats of the TAR. I want to just bring your attention to this tank was causing a problem for my entire team and my squad was bitching about it. So finally I just go over and literally kill the damn thing by my fucking self. Okay? I really am... I... Like, me, myself, and my RPGs go on top of a roof and, and, and kill this tank. All by myself. Okay? And I really I just want to point out there that squads these days, there's a huge lack in team play. And I really wish more people would take the initiative that I just shown. And if there's a tank killing you, don't die six times and bitch about it. Die once, spawn with RPGs, and fucking go after it. And if, if one other person thinks that way as well, that tank will be gone in absolutely no time at all. So I just wanted to say that as a little mini rant. Because I'm sick of the lack of team play right now. It's too many... This is, Battlefield isn't COD, okay? And off the very start, there was tons of team play, and now it's kind of uh, degraded into just trying to get as many kills as possible. Now, back to this, my original topic, which I was going to talk about the TAR stats, because I'm sure you do want to hear it. So, I'm also going to compare it with the ACR stats, just because. So, a normal gun, I'm going to pick the M4A1. Almost all... Actually, all... Um, what's it called? Carbines for the engineer class have the exam. Uh, have these stats. Their max damage is 25. Their minimum damage is 14.3. The damage drop off start is 8 meters, so that means they'll be doing 25 damage up to 8 meters. And then the damage drop off stop is 50 50 meters. So at 50 meters, it'll be doing the minimum damage of 14.3, and beyond there, it will always do 14.3. 
The only guns that are different from this is a Scar H, which has the same distances, but it does max damage 30, minimum damage 20, and that's because it has super high recoil and also much slower shooting. The ACR is also different. It has a maximum damage of only 20, so not 25, so it would take 5 bullets instead of uh, only 4 to kill up close. And that still does its damage um, to 8 meters. And then the minimum damage is actually 16.7. So the minimum damage of the ACR is actually higher than the minimum damage of all the other, except for the SCAR, um, carbines. This means that it is a long-range marksman weapon. It's um, recoil, which I'm not going to explain to you, especially over mic without any visual aids, is very low. Uh, the MTAR is very high. The ACR shoots at 850 rounds per minute and compare that to the M4A1 uh, which shoots 800, so just a little bit higher. The MTAR shoots uh, quite a lot higher at 900 rounds per minute and it has the exact same damage profile as I've said before as all the other carbines. So the MTAR is definitely your close quarters in your face weapon which I've said this already and the ACR is your marksman gun. Um, just those two weapons fill basically the roles of an engineer. You can these new close quarter weapons are both excellent choices in combat, and I can't really think aside from the M4, which is de definitely devastating, but is also easily replaceable by the um, what's it called the a new ACR. I can't think of a better old gun than these two new guns. These two new guns are extremely effective, and I am afraid they're going to nerf them. They're n neither of them is overpowered. The ACR. I have definitely gotten killed because I've tried to kill a guy up close with the ACR and it's just not powerful enough. That one extra bullet makes a hell of a difference and if I would have had an M4, I would be alive. Um, the TAR also has gotten me killed because I've tried to snipe guys from too far and it's just not working out because of the recoil. So both guns have its downside and please dice, don't nerf them. But I just wanted to give you um, some quick game, some gameplay with this TAR and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, uh, please subscribe. Uh, God knows I can. I need all the subscribers I can get. I'll be bringing you more uh, gun gameplay as I can get it. I, like as I said, I'm having a full ACR gameplay coming up soon. Um, I got the L whatever it was, uh, fucking L2 WXY and Z. Um, actually, I, I I'm pretty sure I do have a full uh, gameplay with the the new. I can't, I can't think of it. God damn it. Oh, the L86. The L85, sorry. A2 or whatever it is. The light machine gun version of the British assault rifle uh, for the assault class. Um, that's coming soon also. I'm trying to get the LSAT. I'm trying to get... I just unlocked the new sniper rifle. But yeah, I'm going to be bringing you gameplays of all these new guns and, you know, telling, them my first telling you guys my first impressions of what I think. The TAR. Um, basically, in a nutshell, when you get the TAR... It is definitely fun. Oh, and watch this guy. I barely get him. I'm like, oh my god. I get him the last second, last kill. So I ended up going uh, 38 and 12. But just like I was saying, the tar in a nutshell, you're going to have trouble with those first 10 kills. But once you get the red dot sight, it's a beauty gun. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a nice day.